Welcome to the Firebelly Social Show. We're focused on talking to food and beverage brands that are on a mission to make the world better. Hello, this is Duncan Olney with the Firebelly Social Show, where we talk to CEOs and founders of mission-driven food and beverage brands. This is a very special episode because it was recorded live at the Sweets and Snacks Show in Chicago. Lastly, this episode is brought to you by Firebelly Marketing, where we focus on making brands more likable on social media. We work with brands like Bake Believe, Karma Nuts, Justin Winery, Fiji Water, and a whole lot more, and we'd love to talk to you. Hit us up on firebellymarketing.com. Duncan here coming to you at the end of the first day of the Sweets and Snacks Expo. And I am with my main man and new friend, Jeremy, who has been feeding me the most amazing jerky. That's what I'm here for, my man. Jer- Jeremy, tell us about yourself, yeah. you know, Absolutely. and your company. Absolutely. So um, my name is Jeremy. Company, the idea was um, come up with this brilliant man over there, a friend of mine. Uh, the thought was that jerky is a healthy product. But it has like this bubba, like this trucker stigma to it. <laughs> and the opportunity was like, how do you get like that woman, that millennial that's hiding jerky as they're eating it, but loves it as a healthy snack? Like, what are people missing? Like, why is that not being taken advantage of? And that was the vision with it. And then, like, we learned that it's really like, end of the day, like packaging goes a long way. The aesthetic goes a long way. How you spin the brand and how you spin the product. But, uh. Yeah, and that's kind of uh, kind of how it started. Knowing your audience, I would say, right? Yeah, absolutely. And the fun part about how this brand started, and he's going to kill me, but I don't care. He came up with the idea while he was high in his bathtub. <laughs> that's what happens, yeah. Bryce. Bryce, did you hear that, Bryce? When Ricky was high in the bathtub. <laughs> it's how the best ideas are come up. He found a gap, and that's the gap. Well, and I, I, I find, uh, I, I must ask about the role that innovation plays with your flavors. Because, I mean, even from the brief look I took, you, you've got some really interesting flavors. I, I think the idea with the flavors is you, you got to have the core jerky flavors, which are teriyaki and whatnot. But our vision was always to say, all of our flavors are made by different James Beard or Michelin star chefs. That's what's kind of unique about the product. And what's cool about these flavors is that Sesame teriyaki is one of our flavors, and we always thought, we're like, okay, what is a James Beard chef's vision of teriyaki? It could be totally different than your typical gas station product. It could have a a hint of a different fruit in there or something else. And that's kind of like how we wanted, you can't get too crazy with the flavors. You got to have the core jerky flavors, but we wanted something unique with the chef. That is fascinating because there's such a huge demo out there. That is upscale. And they want, you know, you go to a restaurant, you want that soup served to you slowly and hot. You don't want it warm and quick. So I think that that's your, your, your you've taken jerky to a different level to a discriminating. Absolutely. And I think like this, the story with the brand is like, you couldn't, you weren't going to get any retailer excited about just replacing another brand of jerky for them. The way you get them excited is to say, listen, like, how do we grow? How do we grow your set like we're bringing in a different demographic we're bringing in woman a millennial that was not buying jerky before because they're like they didn't want to be bubba and like that's what really kind of excites these people is something different something unique um something that just brings in somebody that was always embarrassed to buy jerky that now that's kind of what we thought to change i mean when i see the packaging i could easily see like a hip woman on the go she's in her late 30s just going to yoga she pulls out the product and she's going to eat it you know, as a healthy snack. Exactly. So that was, I'm glad you said that. That's exactly kind of what, when we started this, it was, if we can convince that woman leaving a yoga studio to carry a bag of jerky, who'd be embarrassed to carry a gas station brand, there's an entire untapped demographic that nobody's touching. But at the end of the day, like you can't just focus on that demo. You've got to go, you still, we do still go after bubble. Of course you have to. Um, but. You've got to, yeah, I mean, you've got to, it's funny, like with our packaging, like you'll see, like there's no 
pictures of jerky. There's no windows to show the jerky because jerky's all good. Like it looks like dog food. All jerky does. So we wanted something clean, modern, cool aesthetic. And that's kind of what we shot for. And you and Ricky have known each other for a long time? Long time. 10 years, 12 years. Best 12 years of my life. <laughs> what do you guys do? I mean, obviously, you're, you guys are growing this brand. What do you guys, I mean, you're, you're grinding, found real life. You know, what do you guys do to stay inspired and to stay, you know, energized? Me, so honestly, like when we come to these shows, it's not necessarily just to meet these buyers. It's to meet these other brands, to find out what's new, what's cool, what they're looking at differently, um, what strategies they're using. Um, it, it's really like just being around all these, all this energy here is really kind of what keeps us going and gives us new ideas for different things that we're doing, see what we're doing wrong, meet some good people here to get advice on going into places that we've never been, just like all sorts of things. But we, we love coming to these kind of things. A lot of fun. It's easy for us. We're local. We're Chicago. Jeremy, I, this is a very, very important question. Yeah. I don't know if you're ready, man. I, I hope I don't, you know, piss you off at this question. What is your favorite flavor? And what is your drink with that flavor? My favorite flavor is the sesame teriyaki. My favorite drink with that flavor is an espresso martini. <laughs> Our cameraman and sound guy, Bryce, is laughing because he just asked me last night, what do you think about espresso martinis? Uh, what is that like, those two? It is, it's magic. <laughs> <laughs> it's robust, right? It's a robust. Bus. So like our, our teriyaki has like a has a nice like kick to it and it blends well. <laughs> it blends well with coffee. Yeah. And what's the what's the magic behind the recipes? And you have chefs working on this or how, how does that all yeah, come together? So I mean, so they're all different James Beard and Michelin star chefs. And like the vision was let's take this like once thought upon gas station product, but let's bring an entire culinary experience to this. And find the best chefs in the world to create a healthy version of a once thought upon gas station product. So the chefs play a huge part in what we're doing. Um, we have like we have jerky, we have sticks, we have tons of chefs we work with. A lot of them are Chicago chefs, but they're a huge part of the brand. I mean, that's 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 kind of that's our entire aesthetic. What about any any words for people that want to go down this journey on their own? Yeah, just um, never be intimidated by the next step. Honestly, like that's. That's, you're not going to, there's a million things like Ricky and I have no experience in food. None. Like he, he started this. I jumped in with him after we have zero experience in food and it doesn't matter. It just means you don't have to do everything the same way everything, everybody else does. We do things differently than everyone else. We avoid things that other people do. We just do all sorts of different things. I think the key is with anybody, just like some people get scared to take the next steps because they don't know the next steps and they're intimidated by the next steps. You just have to realize that nobody here has any idea what they're doing everybody's just going with their gut and surrounding themselves by good people i just learned uh the term from a friend of mine jimmy wang i learned the term fitfo have you ever heard the term fitfo no figure it the fuck out yeah i like that i like that i like that the name even the name you guys have suggests it, it's kind of like think about what's going in your body think about what you're eating think about like how you once thought upon jerky what's different just, it's really, yeah, I mean, that's, that's, that's the brand. Just think about what you are taking down, what you're eating. And what's your best marketing? Um, just honestly getting, like getting organically, getting the product in the hands of people, like just giving away bags to people, getting out there. Our chefs via social media are a huge part of our marketing. Um, cause all these different chefs have a huge following. So and they have a very loyal following. So, um, a lot of our growth has been organic, but we've been around for like seven years now and it's been fun. So one important thing we got to talk about is how can people find your product? Um, best place, I mean, it depends where the best place is obviously Amazon's the easiest. Um, a lot, I mean, a lot of different seats or a lot of different grocery We're in like places like CVS or like, a Costco or a Walmart. But, um, yeah, I mean, just... We do a lot of e-commerce. I think the best place probably would be Amazon. That's the easiest place. Um, we do a ton on there. So yeah, everyone, great to be here with Jeremy Klein from Think Jerky. And it's been a great interview, uh, Jeremy. And if you want to check it out, Think Jerky on Amazon. And uh, thank you. We wish you the best. Thank you so much. Thanks for listening to the Firebelly Social Show. We'll see you again next time. And be sure to click subscribe to get future episodes.